Okay, welcome back. We're going to do another video on Surds now. So there was actually one rule we didn't add in and it wasn't because we forgot. It's because uh, we're going to give a separate video, kind of a, not a bigger, bigger rule, but the, there's a little bit more to it. Okay, so for the example uh, we're going to look at, it's going to be 5 divided by square root of 3. So basically you can't divide something by a square root, so you have to find a way around it. So what we're going to do, so remember if you multiply something by 1, it doesn't change at all, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply it top and bottom by square root of 3. So it's going to be the square root of 3 divided by the square root of 3, of which if we look at this, this it's just 1. Because it's, it's anything divided by itself is going to be 1. So we're not actually changing this at all, we're just going to write it in a different way. Okay? So on the top, we're going to get 5 square root of 3. On the bottom, if you multiply any two square roots by each other, you get the number that's inside the square root, okay? So don't get confused, don't think it's three by three, you'll get nine, it's the square root of three by the square root of three is gonna be always equal to three. And this is basically our answer here, so if you put that into your calculator, you can get a decimal point answer. But basically just that you can't divide something by the square root of three, so they found this way around it, okay? Uh, so we're gonna do another example that's gonna be a little bit more difficult. So one divided by seven minus the square root of two. Okay, so again, we can't divide something by a square root, and we can't just multiply it by the square root of 2 over the square root of 2. So we're going to have to do something different. So in this case, we multiply it by something that's called the conjugate, okay? So on the bottom and the top, so again, it's going to be, it's still going to be 1. It's going to, we're not going to change it all. We're going to multiply it, the same thing the top and the same thing the bottom. We're going to pick, it's going to be 7, the square root of 2, and 7, the square root of 2. So we're leaving that blank on purpose for now. Uh, so in this case we have minus here, okay, so we're going to put plus here. But the reason I left it blank just to say that if there was a plus here, then these would both be minus, okay? So it's just the opposite of whatever it was. It doesn't have to be plus if, it, it basically has to be the opposite here, okay? So there has to be the same numbers but a different sign on the bottom and on the top, okay? Uh, so let me just scroll down a little bit first. Ooh, a little too much, there we go, oh, too much again. Uh, there we go, that'll do. Okay, so the top is just going to be 7 plus the square root of 2. Okay, and on the bottom, I'm just going to give it one more line. So we're going to have 7 minus the square root of 2 and 7 plus the square root of 2. Okay, so I'm going to work through this now. So have a look at that and see if you notice anything about it. So I'll point it out at the end. We're just going to work through it for now. Um, Again, 7 plus square root of 2 on the top. On the bottom now, we're going to have 49. So it's going to be 7 by 7 is 49. Then 7 by square root of 2 is going to be 7 root 2. And then minus 2 by 7 is going to be minus 7 root 2. And minus 2 by plus 2 is going to be minus root 2 squared. So draw that line out a little more. Okay. And go down more. Okay, so we're going to have 7 plus the square root of 2 over. So this is going to cancel with this because we have 7 square root of 2 minus 7 square root of 2. Okay, so in the middle that's going to cancel. 49 just stays the way it is. So again, like I said above with the 3s, this is going to be minus 2. It's not going to be minus 4 because the square root of 2 squared is always going to be just the 2, the number that's inside it. Okay, so we're going to say minus 2. This is going to be equal to then 7 plus the square root of 2 over 47. Okay, and again, you can stick that into your calculator if you want and you'll get your answer. So those are kind of the three main rules. So again, if you're dividing, just know you have to multiply it top and bottom by the same thing. So you want to get rid of the third, or in the case of this, you want to multiply it by the conjugate it's called. So just the same numbers, but an opposite sign. And the thing I was going to point out here is this is practically the, uh, it, well, it is the difference of two squares. So remember, different two squares, you had x minus y, x plus y. It's the same, it's the same idea here, okay? Uh, that's just what I want to point out. But this is our method here. This is our answer for dividing thirds. And we're going to look at some example questions next. Thank you.